Here we go. Ty Montague. Max. Good to see you, man. Hey, Darren. Hey, Janice. Hey, Tom. Hey, Gavin. Paul. Hey, Lynn. Light hey, heads John. on. John Healy. Shanita. Karin, how's it going? All right, here we go. How's everybody doing today? Good, good. Nice to see everybody. I'm super stoked for today's call. We've got a lot of good, got a little experimentation going. So, Ty, did you like my idea that I tech, that I emailed you? <laughs> I was just thinking about that actually before I joined. I was like, if you give me a piece of wood to bite on, I'm I'm down. Yeah. Good. I got a big. I got a big doll hunting knife. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you can be ap apropos. Apropos. So, hey, Pernil, how's it going? Paula D. Good morning, right. John. How's it going? Hey, John. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. Thanks. Hey, James. How's it going? Everybody kind of piling in. All right. Let's maybe wake up, wait another minute or so, and we can. Everything going. Cool. Okay, got a good, got a good group today. Yeah, man, that's, this is great. All right, so let's wait another minute or so. We're gonna do. We're gonna start off things with a little breakout because everybody been digging that. I'm certainly digging that. I wonder if I'll get the same guys as last time. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I had the funniest thing happen though, like a Zoom faux pas. Like Paul, our, uh, um, Dean Boshi and I were on a call yesterday together, and when I went to get to this call, like that was still in the calendar because I was uh, off doing other meetings. So I clicked on that, and actually he was in another meeting, so I kind of jumped in on his meeting. Unfortunately, you know, like <laughs> un un unannounced. So by clicking the wrong button, so my kind of first faux pas at, at Zoom. So. Good, good lesson. Fortunately, he was talking to somebody that he wanted to introduce. He wanted to introduce to me, so that I got to happen. So, so hey, today I thought we'd start with the, with the uh, with the breakouts. Hey, Diane. Hey, Wayne. Um, and I thought today, you know, I'm thinking a lot about kind of this COVID stuff and the crisis. It doesn't seem. I mean, the latest stuff I've been reading is that you know there may be an upswing this fall, and you know it certainly creates a little anxiety. So I, I thought it just you know like in the on the breakouts let's just talk about how you're feeling personally and maybe share like both positively and negatively you know as, as things roll out so so brandon come, should we go to the breakout yep i uh, got a couple people still joining the call okay we're good uh here we go we'll see you guys in about we're gonna do three people per room so we should see you all in about six minutes and um here's john Hey guys. All right. We're back. Is everybody back? Yeah. It looks like everybody's kind of back. So I hope that was good. And I always love those breakout sessions. They're always awesome. So thanks. Thanks Ashley and Rich. Um, hey, I just want to give you guys an update to start off with like Chris and Jin couldn't join today, but we've been having some discussions on the article and um, you know, we're looking for folks. So we're going to get, I'll, I'll get up back out to a few of you guys on, I mean, one of the things that pinged me with uh, with ideas, but what Jim's looking for are folks that have been like, for all of us, you know, we've, we've adopted kind of remote work for a long time and have kind of, you know, ingrained in our DNA, but we want to talk to Jen and, and Chris and I want to talk to, you know, leaders who haven't been used to that paradigm and had to shift. So if any of you guys are on that, we'd love to talk to you about that. And, and um, you know, so just kind of feeling about all of us on the call are a lot, or a lot of us are early adopters in this kind of all, whole remote work world and, and open talent, but uh, more beginning in the journey. So, so that's that's something that's on the on the calendar. And then, uh, Karen, I saw you're on the call. I don't know if Brian's on the call or Arturo's on the call. Any updates on your survey from last week? I, first of all, I'm super appreciative of you doing that last week, but would love to hear kind of what you're thinking and where where you're where you're going with stuff. Yeah, so, so not, not yet. So we're going to meet with Ryan tomorrow and then we're thinking we would get back to you guys next week. But we're also super appreciative for everybody who provided uh, information. 
Um, I did have a little bit of an update on the Chris and Jane side. Um, so we talked, I talked to them yesterday. And one of the things that uh, they're thinking of doing is looking at a company that is running natural experiments. So that maybe have a geography where people had suddenly to go remote and other geographies where people just stayed the same. So maybe a Europe versus US or a consulting company. So if you guys know of anyone, maybe, you know, one of your, your corporates or somebody that you know who, even a platform who might have run this experiment, I think they'd be very grateful for ideas for research sites. Yeah, great. I think that's super helpful, and, and we're really excited that really excited on both those. Thanks for taking the charge of those on those. Okay, awesome. So um, we've got a super fun day today. I, I'm really psyched to try some new things, and and uh, we're going to kind of lean in, and it's going to be kind of a working session, kind of a workshop. So, uh, Catherine, you want to kick things off and lead us through it, and introduce John, and let's see where this goes. Kind of a grand experiment. Sounds awesome. Yeah, so I don't know how many of you have been on our calls for the last few weeks, but we'll just catch you up. Um, that for the last few weeks, we've been kind of pulling together some common themes that have sort of emerged from our conversations. And we realize that there's a lot of work that this group wants to do together. So some of the themes that have emerged from these last few calls are that folks are super interested in us um, coming together on some research, um, setting some standards. We've been talking about education a whole bunch and how we can get people up to speed on what open talent models and open innovation models can do for companies. Um, and we've also talked about a topic that's basically like around accreditation um, of platforms and like certification of, of people who are using these platforms. Um, and so one of the initiatives that we thought would be great would be, um, and this is credited to Dean Bashi, um, he recommended that we do a design sprint exercise where we kind of tease this out and we figure out how we can come together as a group to accomplish more together. And so we've been actually working with um, Voltage Control. They're out of Austin, Texas, and they're gonna help us lead a design sprint exercise. We've um, currently scheduled some dates um, or held some dates in July. It's uh, July the 13th through the 15th. It's a Monday to a Wednesday. Um, we're gonna meet for about four hours each day, a couple of sessions each day. And we'll be reaching out to um, folks on this call to get a quorum of folks that'll participate in the design sprint, depending on your availability. Um, but today, I don't know if you saw the invite from John, we have a working hypothesis for what we'd like to accomplish in the design sprint. And what we really want to do today is have voltage control lead us through an exercise where we can all react to that and hone it in, really refine it, get it to a place where we feel like it's really going to be directive of our design print sprint session. And we can kind of work in, um, you know, that goal for the working session throughout the sprint. So we really get where we need to be in the three days. Um, and so John Fitch is from Voltage Control. They're expert facilitators of all, all of this kind of stuff. Um, and he's going to lead us through that right now on the Zoom call. He's going to share his screen and take us through a facilitated session. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Catherine. Yeah. Can, ever, can you hear me okay? Lovely. So as awesome. As uh, First off, uh, always impressed by community consortiums. Uh, on our breakout group, we talked about the importance of conversation over media. I think that is the ultimate media. It's just conversation. So honored to be here. Um, as Catherine mentioned, Voltage Control, we do design sprints. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a maker. I like building things. I like breaking things. I don't know if anyone grew up watching MacGyver. Uh, I've just somehow made a career on being a digital MacGyver. Highly recommended route. Uh, but we're going to be doing a design sprint and the design sprint is all about co-creation, co-innovation. So how do you bring in people that could be partners, desired customers? How do you co-create with them so that you're not just operating off of hunches and assumptions? And so um, what I'm going to do is actually Catherine mentioned, I was going to be walking through the exercise, which is um, partially true. I'm going to be a lazy facilitator and I'm going to provide a mural link. Uh, for everyone in the chat and it's an anonymous mural link so if you haven't heard of mural uh, you won't have to build an account if you do use mural you'll be logged in that's fine it's a huge whiteboard a digital whiteboard 
um, I'm seeing a lot of you come in. Because you don't have a user account, Mural's gonna give you an awesome username like Anonymous Penguin or Anonymous uh, Meerkat, some kind of animal. That doesn't matter. Um, and you can zoom in and out of uh, the mural. If you have technical issues, uh, do speak up. Uh, your browser tends to, to change things. Try not to click around too much and move things. I didn't lock anything down, but it's a really simple mural here um, where we have a hypothesis and below is roses, thorns, and buds. And the only use case you need to know inside of mural is wherever you are zoomed in and out, you just double click and it will create a sticky that you can start typing in. And so what I want us to do is I'm going to explain Rose Thorn Bud if you haven't heard of it yet. Uh, but each one of you is going to create stickies and you can create one, you could create 40. It's up to you how, how, how much of an opinion you have. But I guess, Catherine, before we dive in, I wanted perhaps if you could set some context on this hypothesis statement so that people have a bit of some context before I run us through the exercise. Is that okay with you? Yeah, <clears throat> and I think, I think that's what I was trying to do at the beginning. Um, so this group on the telephone has been coming together every week or so for the last few months. And even longer before that, before COVID, um, a subset of this group has been coming together for over a year. Um, and we've been talking about open talent models and how we can support the adoption of these. And so the context is that there's been a, a larger theme that folks are saying, you know, how can we get together and maybe work on some of these initiatives around research, around education, around um, accreditation? Um, how can we do that? And under what structure, context, format would we, would we be able to do that together? And so this hypothesis is, is basically asking that question. We think that everyone in this room understands, you know, the benefits and why we think it's important for open talent to thrive. And um, the question is, how can we come together and organize the marketplace and overcome our challenges and reduce the friction that interferes with the adoption of this new paradigm for work? And John, do you have anything to add? Absolutely. Oh, Thank you. I'm, Thank you for I'm that good. context. Yeah, I go for it, John. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So. Um, there is a, I, I, I put the hypothesis statement um, in the center of the mural and Rose Thorn Bud, if you haven't heard about it, it's a feedback mechanism that usually is deployed at the end of a meeting or an end of a project. And it includes three different lenses of feedback. Roses is, this is what I loved about what we did. Or this is what I love about the project. Thorns is, hmm you know, I don't really like this. I don't really like that. This is a problem. And then buds is potential. So it's, hey, we're on to something here. Uh, we, we, we need to improve it or we need to maybe expand it or dissect further, but there's definitely some uh, potential here. And so those are three different lenses of feedback. Highly recommend doing rose thorn bud at the end of exercises, but I found an innovation work that starting off a conversation, starting off a project with feedback through this lens is really helpful for, for your roadmap or your prototyping. And so we're gonna be using it in that context. So um, what you'll do is you'll zoom to the area. Uh, we're gonna do roses first, and I'm gonna put a timer on. This is solo work, so please hold your commentary. Uh, but you get to create stickies for roses. So take your time to read that hypothesis statement and whatever in your own worldview, your personal genius comes to mind, create a sticky about, again, we're going to focus on roses first. What about it is awesome, gets you excited. What about it's going to work? What about it's going to create the change in the culture we want? Um, but I'm just going to put some timer, uh, a time on the timer. Uh, and this is solo time. Create as many stickies. You can, you can move them around uh, so that we, we just collect a lot of stickies in that bottom left. Um, of the mural. Um, and go ahead, this is solo work time.
I'm just going to provide some real time uh, commentary. This is a very active group and it's really awesome to see this like creative chaos happening inside the mural. Um, and if, if you are having trouble with mural uh, for the sake of time, you could share your rows inside of the chat because the, the, the chat for the facilitators, uh, you can download the chat um, through Zoom. So we could, we could create stickies after the fact. So if for some reason you're having technical difficulties with Mural, don't feel bad, uh, but you could share something inside of the chat. Again, we're focused on roses right now, which is what is great about this hypothesis and intention. Oh, so um, you might, I saw a chat here that maybe some clarity. So rose thorn bud is less about, well, sorry, the rose and the thorn is less about ideas. It's more about feedback. So uh, critique, both the, both the positive criticism and then uh, you know, what about it isn't great. If you have an idea about potential, uh, we'll save that for the bud section. Uh, which is the third component. We're still focused on roses, which is based on this hypothesis statement. What is your reaction? What is your positive reaction to it? And we've got about one minute remaining on the timer in our mural. Wow, some great stuff here. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, since there's so many stickies being created, uh, I'm just going to create, I'm going to expand the size of the mural. Uh, I'm going to make it taller so that uh, while we go into the next session, which is going to be the thorns, uh, you don't have to post everywhere above. Uh, so now we're going to continue our solo work. And so we just finished roses. And now we're going to go into thorns. And so as you read that hypothesis statement, this is for your devil's advocate, your naysayer, you, you know, what about this is, is not good or it might not work, uh, what's not being considered. This is your time to provide, I don't know if the best word is negative, but it's, it's like, oof, I don't know if, if I agree with that. Uh, so right now, again, some solo work, creating uh, stickies for the thorns and put it in that middle section of, of the mural and I'll expand the size of it now. John, is there, is there a reason why my stickies are not working? The text is extremely slow and I have to wait seconds to actually see it. Hmm. Um, let's see, any time that I've had issues with mural is uh, usually a browser issue that mm. a, a I don't have an optimized browser or I, 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 I have too many tabs open. Um, again, we've got, uh, looks like a, at least around 40 people inside of this uh, mural. And if your browser is uh, computing a lot based on your system uh, specs, it could uh, cause an issue. So, um, Typically, if I'm having an issue, I open up the same link and I'll, I'll reshare it here in the chat if that's helpful for anyone. And you could access, you know, clear, you could clear out your browser, open a new browser window, and um, that that tends to help sometimes. So that's that's one issue. Uh, 
Uh, I use Google Chrome. I used Safari and Firefox and had um, some issues there, whereas Chrome has been the most reliable for me. I'm using Chrome. So. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, David. Sometimes um, there's, there's some issues. Uh, Mural, uh, we're, we're a partner of theirs. They have a new rendering engine that they're launching really soon that um, should be helpful for all types of users, regardless of their specs and connection quality. But I don't know if that's live yet. I think it's in beta at the moment. Um, but sometimes Mural doesn't work for some folks, and there's a, there's a number of variables that may be causing that. Um, but if you're having an issue, do feel free to share what you would have put in the sticky just in the chat and we'll make sure to synthesize that. And thanks for, thanks for being patient. Okay, thank you. Awesome, everyone. That was uh, the time for our thorn section. And so again, we just did roses, which is what's awesome about this. The thorns is, mm, I have a negative reaction to that. And you, you voiced that in the sticky, thank you. And then now we're moving on to bud, which is what is the potential so this could come in purely as a, a statement, as feedback, or if you have a specific idea that could be helpful for the design sprint team, uh, feel free to create that in a sticky regarding the buds, which is like our potential. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more time because this is the art of possible and it's really important because that's the mindset during the design sprint. So I'm gonna put uh, four minutes on the timer for individual work um, in, in the bud section. So about a minute and three quarters uh, left for this exercise. Um, if, if, you've, if you've exhausted your creative resources and created all of your stickies, uh, feel free to, to explore around and read some of the other stickies inside of the mural board. It's helpful to just be aware of other stickies. How do you shrink the board back down so we can see the overall landscape? Sure. So um, depending if you have a mouse or a trackpad, uh, that would change in terms of your gestural feedback. But um, at the bottom right of the mural 
is this like uh, slider for, for zooming in and out. Um, and that's one way you can in increase the, the altitude. Okay. Do you see that? Awesome. Twenty seconds left. Get in your last stickies, and then we're going to have a bit of a um, socialization. Awesome, everyone. Thanks for uh, trusting me. Uh, dropping you into Mural, if you've never used it before, it can be uh, quite an experience. Uh, we use it uh, all the time. And there's a lot of great templates that we've created for different exercises, but there's also a massive community of uh, templates in the marketplace. Um, and so if you're curious, definitely check it out. We didn't even utilize some of the other features like voting, and, and that, that's really neat. Uh, to help sense make. Uh, and so that's really awesome. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is just open up for discussion around, and we'll, we'll use the same framework of Rose Thorn Bud, but we have a lot of information to sift through. And this is really awesome if you're doing a prototype or a design sprint like exercise, is ahead of time, reach out to your community, reach out to those you seek to serve get reactions and then uh, filter that and go through it before you enter that space of a design sprint and that uh, you know, explorative uh, design work. Uh, so we're gonna, our design sprint team is gonna be looking through all of this, organizing it. Um, and so thank you for your, for your input, but just since it's all top of mind, let's go ahead and uh, discuss that. So uh, right now through the lens of roses, uh, kind of a, an, an open moment uh, and please utilize your, your mute uh, with responsibility, uh, but uh, and, and feel free, open assembly team, uh, if you have a specific question around positivity in roses, uh, speak up, but uh, consider this now just like a popcorn uh, format of discussion around uh, roses first. Uh, hey, John, can I speak? Can you hear me? I can hear you. So this is Sheila Mahoney from Live Sci Hub, and I just wanna say, I to start out by saying, I think Mural just got another 50 customers. Um, that was incredible. And I can't wait to hear what everybody says. Um, the one thing I will ask, if I may, um, will we be able to have access to that raw data? Because I can't even imagine, uh, I would have loved to have had a couple of hours to read what everybody else had. <laughs> yes. That's all I'll say. Yes, so this is a... Um, Ooh, this sorry. Oh, it's okay. Thank, thank you, uh, Sheila. So this is a this is an open uh, mural here. That anonymous link will continue to work. I'll make sure that it, that is accessible outside of the chat because I think again this this is all about community. And so um, I think what what uh, we'll do first is organize it a bit. Y'all definitely dove in, and <laughs> it's the most elaborate whiteboard I've seen in a while. But we've got <laughs> we've got to organize the stickies a bit. So. Um, awesome. Uh, we'll do that, but we'll certainly be uh, sharing that. Uh, any uh, any comments on on roses on on this hypothesis? I'll make a so general statement. Some. John Ely, what about roses? Any anything that you, comes to mind for you? Or we'll jump off mute there. I, I think big part uh, of this is just the the opportunity that's there, the the aspect of collaboration that's taking place amongst a group of people with a common interest. I think is really important, and I think that the value proposition, both to the um, to the communities, to the companies, and to the individuals, are all a part of of what we're seeing in here. So. All those strike me as roses in, in what we're laying out.
Anybody else? Ashir, how about how about you from from your perspective? You're on you're on mute. I realize I'm on mute. Uh, yeah. Button was sticky, so I uh, could not get it undone. But yeah, no, looking at it, I mean, again, I think just, you know, again, I think there's just a lot of great thoughts, a lot of great ideas on here. Um, I'm still, there's there's a lot of content that I'm trying to process through. For sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Panish, how about, how about you? Yeah, I mean, um, and apologies, my camera's broken today. Um, I think, you know, the thing that struck struck me and, and kind of I, I tend to agree with a lot of the comments in both these buckets, but some seem to be more focused on the process of what this group is trying to achieve and, and others seem more focused on the um, the kind of output and what the go-to-market and future freelance and, and, and talent looks like. And so it might be interesting um, to separate those two, because I think even myself, I wasn't 100% clear whether we're supposed to talk more about what the goals of this group are or what we believe the Rose's influence for the freelance marketplace opportunity are. You know, I'll, I'll jump in. I My first few post-its were actually about the design thinking exercise itself. And then I started looking at other people's post-its and I was like, oh, I'm actually supposed to read the paragraph and talk about that, but it's all good. I mean, uh, if I did want to say a couple of positive roses about this design thinking uh, exercise, so I'm glad they're there. I will ask whoever's reviewing it, please don't hold my spelling errors against me because, <laughs> and I couldn't see my words. Um, so what I personally wrote probably reads like a kindergartner, but I was just trying to get it all out. So please don't hold that but against you, me. But you have to tell I us what say. animal you are. Otherwise we wouldn't know so that we, Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, you're right. I'm just never going to tell you what animal it is. Yeah. <laughs> I will maintain my anonymity. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Rich. Rich, Rich Copsey, you and I talked today. Rich, Rich has been in this market a long time from the demand side and done a lot of great stuff. But like, what's, your, what's your take on, on you know, roses? Well, I'll, I'll start by saying I love the exercise as well. Um, I was a little bit technically challenged. So anywhere you see this is a title, it's probably me, um, <laughs> anonymous triceratops. Uh, but uh, no, I, I think it's, it's the feedback I'm reading because I'm trying to zoom in and out to, to, to adjust the various fonts. I think it's fantastic. Um, I like the, the hypothesis in general. And I think it's clear that a lot of folks agree uh, with that. I think there's a lot of um, stones to be turned over um, and as we continue to dive into this, it's a challenge. Yeah, great. All right, thanks. And, and Wayne, how about you from your perspective? There you are. Wayne Withrow, you're on, you're on, uh, you're on mute. There we go. Yeah, there you go. I just think it's interesting that it's a, I thought the whole process was the most interesting part of it. It's just a super efficient way to get such a broad array of ideas. Um, and it's, I, you know, the fact that it's time box, I mean, some of these exercises would go on for hours if you did this sort of in a live traditional manner and get the same result. Yeah, that's great feedback for sure. Thanks for that. And Dean, how about you, man? You were the, you were the inspiration for this whole thing. and. And uh, I, hey, Dean, I told, I don't think you're on yet, but I told the story of how I busted in on your, on your, uh, on your call. So apologies again. Yeah, I hadn't got Zoom bombed by um, anyone yet, except for John Windsor. So if you're going to get bombed, it's the way to go. Um, <laughs> he just so happened to show up when there was a, uh, um, a, a Greta Corporal, who's a part of the said business school, at Oxford University. Hopefully she gets engaged here. Um, so anyhow, it, uh, more sticky notes, the better. So I love these activities. Like I'm big on agile techniques and stuff. So like this is uh, done in a retrospective style, which is, I like the, I've never heard the Rose version of do, do more, do less, keep doing. Uh, so that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah, organizing the outputs. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you'll, you'll do a great job there. 
And then um, and then iterating on this, but lo I love the organization, love the style, keep going. And John, I could just listen to your soothing voice all day. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. wow. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. Great. That's oh, yeah. fun. <laughs> great. <laughs> love Thank it. You. Soothing. So. Well, if it helps, um, I can't take credit for it right before jumping on this. I was in a, a group guided meditation. So, ah, yeah, I, at least I was able to immediately transfer that energy. It was, it was not obvious at all. Okay. <laughs> well, I've been, I've been thinking a lot about, um, uh, this is a, a brief uh, tangent, but in our breakout rooms, we talked about, you know, the state of, of things. And I've just been leaning more into conversation and curiosity. And I actually tried to speak with a number of police officers uh, which don't have the best reputation, but I'm sure there's great ones. In fact, I know there are. And I had conversations with them, and one of them left me with a, with a mantra, I guess you could say, that uh, she embodied, and I've been embodying it as a facilitator, and I think it comes from the special forces, which is uh, stress is contagious, and so is calm. And so I've, in, my, in my vocal tone, just tried to be more calm, and I guess it's working. Yeah, it's awesome, man. I love it. Yeah. Um, um, uh, J uh, John, um, perhaps now, uh, and, and Catherine, I think what's really important is the design sprint because whatever we're, we're prototyping towards should be trying to answer some really hard questions. And those really hard questions typically come up in the thorns. Yeah. And so um, open for for the thorns what about this might not work or you think is, is broken or not good uh, i think the more that social we obviously have a lot documented but if 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 people want to speak up uh, verbally that could be helpful for the design sprint team to be uh, mindful of you're not going to hurt my feelings you can talk straight to me <laughs> Hey, hey, Robert, Robert Jackson, you, you and I had a great conversation yesterday. Any thoughts on kind of maybe some of the things we're missing here? Oh, okay. I don't know. Hey, John. Just, yeah, good. We gotcha. Sure. I'm, 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 I'm two months into this space, so I'm remiss to say that anything's been missed here, um, given all the comments. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to add. I mean, uh, there is, a, uh, I think there are a lot of primal reasons that people want to uh, have control over other people. And so those are some of the attitudes that will be the most difficult to, to vanish. Yeah, great, great point of view. And, and Lynn, Lynn, from, from your perspective at NASA, you've been doing this for so long, so it'd be super interesting to get your point of view on it. Hey, John, sorry, slow to get off no the, yeah. the here. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I haven't participated in too many of these sessions, right? I've kind of let Steve be the, the, the lead in these. So this is the first one I've joined um, and really had to kind of focus on what you all were doing. So I have been in just pure observation mode and just observing this process was uh, a little mind opening actually. So it's, it's been great. I'm glad I had the opportunity to join in this session today. What, 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 your, what are your biggest ahas? I, I think watching how, how much the people who join in this really are a community and are kind of functioning as a community. Um, I, I think that was demonstrated in this exercise pretty well. So I'm looking forward to kind of um, seeing what you get out of it. Yeah, me too. I think thanks. Thanks for that. I'm really excited. I really appreciate John's point of view. This has been great for me too. Yeah. Hey, hey, Ryan, uh, you always have a lot to say and, and always strong, you know, and, and thoughtful opinions. Anything, anything that you've got on your mind in, in the context of thorns? And I know you're in the car, so it's hard to kind of see the mural and stuff, but. No, I've, I've been uh, self-driving here, so it's good. I was telling one of the <laughs> Elon's driving me around. Um, <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, first of all, I'm an optimist, so it's hard for me to be pessimistic. Um, 
but what I'll say I liked about this so far, I'm sorry I've been able to join us on as many as I would like to, but what I think we need to do as a group here, if I could speak my mind, and it doesn't mean it's right, but uh, I shared this with John yesterday, we should all be joining each other's, if we have platforms or open communities or any way we can actually contribute to each other. Um, and I, if I haven't reached out to some of you, I apologize. I want to make sure I support your initiatives, but uh, action is such, such an important thing. It's important for us to talk about stuff and do whiteboard sessions. And John, I reached out to John already saying, we need to use this for our community and marketplace. Uh, I think it's amazing. The mural is very cool. Um, uh, the most important thing is always action. And uh, so I've really appreciated so far, John, thank you for bringing everyone together because I've felt that action in this community. And I, as it grows and it gets gains momentum, I hope we don't, uh, uh, you know, just wax poetic hope we put it into action so i guess that's my best job of being a pessimist or a thorn i can see way more roses but there you go is that helpful yeah yeah for sure i followed along the best i got i'm trying to pay attention to the road here as well but yeah don't crash remote, we need you remote remote working yeah there you go there you go john um if you don't mind maybe i have a comment um, unfortunately, the technology didn't work for me, so I wasn't able to put any post-its up, but uh, I'm new to the group, and I commented from a buyer's point of view, I'm a procurement guy, big corporate. Um, I think you have a, you know, a clear idea of some of the challenges that face this industry, and I think this group should be looking at you know, specific things that perhaps you can do to change that or overcome some of them together. Um, and what things you need to do to, with to work with your clients, because there's some things you can perhaps impact yourselves and there are other things you're going to have to work with your, your customers or clients to do. But I think you need to get to very specific actions um, to, you know, what is the plan you're going to put in place? What, you know, if, if one of the challenges is corporate IT, they don't like having to integrate with 50 platforms, right? Um, we know that. So what are you going to do about that? What, what is the potential solution that you can bring to that corporate IT? And I can sure there's many other challenges, but to try and get to things that are going to be, very specific and you can action. One thing I'd add to connect what David just said and what Ryan just said that before that, I mean, we all have to just reflect on how many times have you brought in another platform to a conversation with a client so that, you know, we look a lot more coordinated. And I, I, it's, it's very rare for me to have seen um, any platform bring another platform in to a conversation with Deloitte or any of our clients to say, okay, now we can, make it easier for you to, uh, you, are, you are talking to us about IT, but it looks like in the conversation, there are some marketing or agency problems. We can bring in another partner to do that. Um, you know, that is the true sense of community and collaboration. And uh, I think, uh, you know, just this, even on the conversation on Mural, there was a lot of intent to do that. I think we just have to translate that into act. I like that. John, if I can jump in, I I completely agree with that. I've been looking at, with the training we were talking about a few weeks ago, I had this idea of putting on our website something that basically is a, a chart saying you're looking for this type of service, this type of area, so echoing what Balaji said, but but digitally, just putting it put it on the platform and put, we believe in open talent, here are some great companies, and, and list each other and give some guidance as to why those other firms do something different to what you can offer. So that's my, that's my penny's worth. Yeah, John, I'll, I'll just jump in as well. I think, um, you know, some great perspective here. Just, I love the energy and the passion and the perspective on these calls. I, I know we all do. That's, um, this is one of the gems in our, our week, every week. And, um, and I think we're all very passionate about, what the future of work could and should look like and uh, and have a vision for what you know what we can do together to make that happen i i've heard you know from these comments on the mural um, exercise and um, just percolating in some of the previous conversations that um, that we have to harness this energy into change right and the, the beauty of this community, John and team, is that, that you have represented basically both the, the supply and the demand side of the marketplace. You have a, a real um, uh, kaleidoscope of, of perspective 
um, that is needed in order to shape um, big change and big impact for the industry at large, right? That will benefit everyone, both the supply and the demand side. You've got just a, a really um, uh, thoughtful community here. So, um, so I'm excited to see where we go from here. And I think the design session is going to be really powerful. And I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, to what we're going to where we're going to take it from there. John, can I just jump in and share something a second? I think I think one of the most difficult things for any organization out there to understand it, it's not open town. The, the the difficulty is understanding Joy's law that simply most of most of the answers that they seek don't reside within their own organization. And if you can articulate that, then you're on to a winner because the biggest challenge that organizations face right now is how they're going to survive, how they're going to move past this firefighting mode of efficiency versus resiliency. And if you can articulate what the cost of standing still is and how they can accelerate and, and build a better world and, and move out of this reset moment, then I think that you will gather people up like no tomorrow. John, should we move on to the to the buds for a few minutes? Yes, thank you, thank you. Just uh, I love all these comments. I'm learning uh, so much, and I mentioned the calm is contagious lately, and I've been trying to uh, be an optimist as well <laughs> lately by saying, oh, you know, we could list out the long list of crises in the world, but I find comfort in summarizing it all as a leadership crisis, and I'm when I'm on calls like this with so many great leaders, I can let out a sigh of like, I think we got this uh, just based on these great conversations. Um, so uh, I'll start by saying my bud is that I know right now, who knows how many uh, online community workshops right now on Zoom's network is occurring, but I bet it's a lot. And I think that um, that's just powerful. So my, my bud is, we're not alone in our thinking. Uh, there's millions of people who woke up seeing the world similarly to, to, to us and want to see the same change. So let's talk about possibilities now. I see a few people are, are quote, cheating and continuing to add buds. Uh, that's not cheating. I'm all about uh, playfulness. So if you're the kid in the classroom continuing to make art, I'm not going to slap your hand with a ruler. I'm all for it. So continue to create stickies if you feel called to it. But here's a moment to, to hear human voices over, over stickies. Cheating is just teaching spelled differently. Ooh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like Chuck, it, man. Chuck, leveling up my, my repertoire of things to say as a facilitator. Thank you. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, John, if I may um, start, this is Vivek here. So um, I think first of all, great process and, uh, and, and the right hypothesis. Uh, what I would like to think is how we can add, you know, some concrete metrics to it to say, okay, you know, what does it mean to come together and what impact does it have on our stakeholders in the current context? So stakeholders being, as was said, the worker, the, the employers or the society. And especially in the context of you know what we are going through, where there is a high rate of unemployment, what, what is it that we will define ourselves as as a success measure? Will it be inclusion, X percent, rehiring, whatever? Those are those are really great thoughts um, in terms of measurability. If you hadn't created those yet in the sticky, if you have some early ideas on metrics, uh, please create a few stickies for us. That would be really helpful. Or you could share in the chat right now what some of those, uh, the taxonomy around some of those metrics are, because in the design sprint, we will definitely be thinking about uh, some metrics oriented language. Great point. Yeah, but I think it's, it, we are a very powerful group, right? And mm -hmm. I, th I think we can really, in a short, short time frame, can uh, produce a result.
Awesome. Paul, Paul S says, I haven't heard from you today. What, you, what are you thinking on potential? You got your, uh, got mute on. I was focusing on the, the thorns. I think one, there's two things that were interesting to me that the focus, when you say open innovation, we often talk about the platforms and I focus on talking about the talent. And I, and I think that's, you know, why we do the talent economy and some of those things. And I think that narrative is sometimes missing when you're talking about all the technology and platforms. I think that the second thing is, you know, all of us are super passionate about this and, and you have to think about or be empathetic to the person in the enterprise and their reason for change. There, there is not a reason for change if you're getting well paid inside a company. Actually, you're just asking people to take a bunch of risk and, you know, for what we perceive as a reward, I agree with you, but there's, if you're a middle manager getting paid well at a large company, there's, there's not a, a reason to take any risk and these platforms represent risk. And so I think the, the, the narrative, and we tried this, John, when I was at Microsoft, like what is the language that would resonate with those personas? You know, what, what are the personas of people? And then what are the words and language that would resonate with them? And that's, I think those two things are um, things I put in the, the uh, mural. I love mural. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Paul, I, I just wanted to comment. I think that is beautifully said as well. Like, there's not only metrics in terms of measuring the effectiveness, but taxonomy really, really matters uh, from, a, from a user perspective, from a marketing perspective. And one of my favorite parts about the design sprint process or just whatever your preferred prototyping process is, is you know, how can we quickly get an artifact in front of people to react to? Because I found the most meaningful feedback usually has nothing to do with the user interface design. It has to do with words because uh, for at least a foreseeable future, we are gonna still operate through the interface of words. And it's amazing that just a, a slight tweak in taxonomy can change the entire perspective of, of a product or service. So it's a fantastic we, point. We spend a lot of time on personas and I think there's a gentleman who's in procurement, like this, this language has to resonate to the people implementing the programs that are procurement. They have their own language and then HR and they, they definitely have their own language. And, and then hiring, like, and so I, you know, I think getting this in front of, of personas that may not be on this call is a critical step. Paul, I was going to say that the urgency may be changing, um, or there may be a, a really much stronger desire to make some of these shifts just because of the way um, they're going to have to accelerate with less people and less access to people. So um, pure acceleration meeting demand ought to be uh, impetus for change. And uh, I, I agree. One of the things that you, I, you know, can like HR and procurement organizations historically, I'm not blanket, you know, are compliance organizations and their desire is to reduce risk. They wake up every day saying, how do I protect the machine from any risk? And, and these models represent risk. You know, they're different. They're change. You're now reaching out to freelancers around the world. Like it, you know, and, and we know there's risk and reward. And so I think that's, that's why I keep advocating, you know, you have, you're talking to people whose job it is to stop you. And I experienced that very acutely when I was at Microsoft, I had to, you know, work very hard to, to help them and, and evolve their thinking. And so, you know, I, I just, understanding those personas is important. That's great, Paul. Thanks. Thanks for, for, adding john i think we should probably wrap it up just because yeah. uh it's it's at time and totally we'll just try to be really prompt I, I, man this was an awesome exercise john i want to thank you first to, to lead us through this and so much great input and as we get ready for this kind of workshop we'll be reaching out to people to get the right team and the alchemy of folks will be a subset of this this group to kind of push forward but then i think it'll be incumbent on us to come back to the bigger group and say hey here's what we're learning give us feedback Let's improve the process. Let's improve the kind of prototype that we'll come mm -hmm. up with. But man, I love you guys. And thanks a lot for, for again, for another great week, another great discussion. And John, special thanks to you for leading this discussion. Look forward to kind That's of seeing all the, all the boards. I wonder one of the things that just is from a technical standpoint, I wonder it'd be great to be able to not only have a digital copy, 
of, of the of the mural, but maybe as we get it organized, that just produce a PDF so everybody can kind of yes. go through as well. So, totally possible once we yeah. yeah organize it around a bit. And also, if, if you're not aware, there's a little ellipses in the chat. Uh, in the little chat bar. And if you click that ellipses, you should be able to download our, our chat because I saw some powerful comments as well as LinkedIn profiles. Uh, so that's a little just a thing that isn't as obvious in the Zoom interface, but uh, we'll be sharing some, some things afterwards for sure. Yeah, awesome. All right, thanks guys. Another great week, really appreciate it. Feels like we're making some good progress and, and really, really honored to be a part of the group. Thanks again. Take care, ciao, ciao.